YouTube, YouTube, what up, man? It's been a while since I dropped a video. Um, I went to Jamaica and back, but um, anyways, I'm back here going to Nebraska um, from Illinois. It's currently Sunday, and I'm gonna take y'all along with me if this goddamn death thing come out. Anyways, man, um, what I'm trying to say is, right, so I'm at this quick trip um, right off of 70 um, in St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm getting like $450 of diesel. Then I saw a guy pull off his pump. And this guy get less than $10 of $1,000. And I thought I was getting a lot of diesel. I'm like, man, diesel is so expensive but when i look and see homeboy had ten dollars less than a thousand dollars i'm like shit i'm not paying shit i'm not paying shit for t for, for uh for for diesel i mean yeah i'm paying the same price to be honest um because he's paying the same four dollars 89 cents and i'm paying the same four dollars 89 cents but i'm not getting as much as him um over there but uh yeah anyways um i'm gonna take you out to nebraska with me um i went to jamaica came back um i came back on wednesday i ran a few loads now i'm here um on sunday um so i went home also um for the weekend uh but i'm feeling a little bit better um let me show you all my hand with the surgery that I did. Oh, shit. Anyways, let me show y'all my hand. Um, So, this is it. Surgery. This is the gunshot wound. Front. So, entrance, exit. Um, The surgery with the metal and shit like that. With all this cold shit that's going on. Um, with all this cold that's going on. Um, It hurts, so... Um, yeah, I need to get that figured out, but um, anyways, man, let's go. All right, guys, so they're currently taking it off my truck right now. Um, it's a lot of weight they're lifting off, but anyways, um, there's currently three hotshot guys in front of me. Um, and it's Monday morning, they're all sitting outside this facility. Um, none of them have, um, Looks like they have a load. All of them is sitting down, waiting. Look like they're waiting on the load or something like that. Um, and I'm waiting on the load too. So it's four of us fighting for maybe one load that's coming out of Nebraska. And this is why I tell y'all, I'm not really a big fan of Hot Shot. But, um, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, it's just four, it's literally four of us sitting out here waiting um the four of us coming from the same place in illinois coming to nebraska and um the four of us are sitting waiting for a load um it looks like there's a cdl high shot guy here and uh three non-cdl so i'm in the non-cdl so already i'm limited to what i can haul um anyways though i'm gonna keep y'all updated on the load that I'm getting. Uh, maybe sit in the truck and wrap this video up. Let y'all know, um, you know, what happened the, the, the past, what, two or three weeks. I've been off the internet. Let y'all know the full, you know, update. But uh, yeah, let me wrap these uh, strap up, get the paperwork situated, and get out of here, man. All right, so welcome to the trucking game where you hurry up and wait so i'm here right now in uh philip nebraska where i'm getting this load to um memphis no mississippi yeah i'm getting this load to mississippi where um they say hey be here at 12 and now i'm here at 12 the guy say hey the load is not ready yet it's still being welded um you know it's another hour or hour and a half there's a city like 20 miles up the road you can go and wait 
or you can just sit where you're at on the side of the road. Um, oh, hold on. Or I can just sit where I'm at. Oh, shit. You see that? <laughs> Literally on the side of the road. Um, where I could just, you know, sit and wait. Um, and, you know, an hour is not enough time for you to get detention um, payment. So pretty much you were doing this for no reason. You were just sitting down um let me show y'all something on my gps where um hold on. so uh as you can see the closest city is on i think this would be the city right here it's about 20 miles so i gotta go all the way here yeah so the guy say it's about 20 miles down the road and I could go down there and wait, or I could sit right here and wait, whatever I wanna do. But I'm just saying, like, it's a big hurry up and wait type of game. I know if I was late, if he's a bad broker, he probably wanna charge me for it, which I would never take a load if you were trying to charge me for being late because, because we are truck drivers. We honestly don't know what happened on the road. Um, So, you know, I could be late. It's different if, um. I don't know, late on my own accord, but look, if I'm late, man, I'm late. Um, I got, I don't know, like running road work or something, but anyways, I'm here at the shipper now. Um, God damn, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to go. These vehicles are going blown past me. Um, so um, what I was saying is, okay, this load is uh, 800 miles. Um... So it's 800 miles, 2300. Um, it's going to Mississippi. It's a decent little area. It's going so I could have loads coming out of here. But in the first clip, I told y'all I was basically racing for loads with um, a few other guys. So the fact that I found this, it's 40 foot long. It's uh, 8,000 pounds, the guy said. Um, but it's pretty much it's flat so it's no um it's not a big load so it's it's kind of heavy um on the trailer not for the truck but um it's a pretty decent load let me do the math haven't done it i know it's over two dollars a mile though so it's like two dollar 87 cents per mile uh which is okay i mean i'm always trying to shoot for more I'm always trying to shoot for more, but um, I'm not sure if I even did it right. Anyways, but I'm here, man. I'm gonna catch y'all when it's being loaded. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Oh, um, so I was gonna talk about going to Jamaica. Um, so I went to Jamaica on the 7th of October and I came back on the 18th or 19th of October. I did not catch any footage because I'm not a vlogger. I'm not a blogger. I'm not anything like that. I'm a, you know, trucking channel that gives information. However, um, I saw a comment that um, someone wanted like a document of me going there. Um, it didn't. It didn't help that much. But it definitely gave me maybe four or five months out of energy where I could keep going. Um, definitely not healthy, but um, you know sometimes you just gotta do what you have to do, and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm working on something in order to um, not necessarily get out of trucking, but to not basically only survive on trucking because whenever you have something going on and you are in trucking it can definitely take a toll on your life all right so as i'm editing this video i realized that it may sound like one nation transport is going out of business and at no point i'm going out of business with these loads that i'm taking i've never took a load for less than two dollars a mile you know and um i'm an owner operator so it's 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 going to be hard for me to go out of business if I have a drive, um, and I do. Um, 
I honestly, I'm not scared of, you know, traveling the distance. 800 miles, I'll drop this load off by Wednesday and I'm looking for another 800 miles. So it's not like I'm looking for another load to go home. Not at all. Um, so I'm not going out of business. I'm just trying to find a different way in order to... Um... All right. So I'm going to have a full video about everything about my medical condition and stuff like that because technically I shouldn't be driving but I can drive so I the doctor say you can drive but if you are doing flatbed you cannot drive because um, in the long run it's gonna hurt your physical hand so it's not like I'm taking medication where I'm gonna fall asleep or on the steering or anything like that I'm not taking any medication at all but I'm gonna do a full video just let me know in the comments if y'all have reached this far in the video if you want to know what happened the whole thing that happened because it's crazy because it's my first load um the whole thing happened so just let me know if you want the full video but um anyways as i'm editing this i realized that it sounds like i'm going out of business i'm not um the business is pretty profitable um you just gotta sit around and wait to find the right load don't take the first load you see eight o'clock in the morning nine ten o'clock promise you there's gonna be a better load um just sit around like it's dirty as hell but um i went to jamaica it was a okay trip um it wasn't that long too um i didn't go anywhere like that i just stayed home and chill um and it was it was it was okay, as I mentioned. Gave me a few more um, months of energy. Um, I had bills to pay when I'm in Jamaica still. I got my insurance. I got my truck note. I got um, everything. Um, I have two insurance on my truck. I have Geico, which is when I'm in, when I'm home, um, I drive my truck around sometimes like if i need to drive it around and something to happen god forbid i wouldn't want to run it through my business insurance so that's why i keep like a second insurance on the truck also i have the original business insurance and i have the truck payment to make and i have other bills that need to be taken care of you know so um i came back real quick so i could keep everything afloat and you know it's it's fine but all right, man, I'm going to keep y'all updated, keep y'all posted, let y'all know what's going on. Okay, so I honestly don't know where I got my information from, but um, it's not 8,000 pounds. It's less than 8,000 pounds, but it's not flat. Um, so I'm just getting loaded. It's currently about 1.30. Um, and uh, that is it right there. that um so anyways y'all i'm not gonna make this video too long so i'm gonna cut it off right here uh, i'm gonna pick it up back when i i'm in i don't know mississippi so uh please do me a huge favor and like this video comment share and subscribe all right appreciate y'all